Okay, let's talk about this thing. Now, what is this thing? Well, I'm kind of giving it away. It is an arithmetic sequence. So if you're watching this video and you're interested in arithmetic sequence, uh, it's likely that you're in some sort of like maybe uh, advanced algebra two course or pre-calculus uh, course, but um, you know, you're obviously studying sequences and series and there's two different, two main uh, types. Uh, there's arithmetic and geometric. But we're going to be focusing in here on arithmetic, uh, an arithmetic sequence. And I'm going to, you know, uh, specifically get into um, the details of what we're trying to do here. So what are we trying to do? Well, if you look here, uh, we're talking about, first of all, a sequence. Okay, so a sequence is just a pattern of numbers. And if we look at this uh, sequence here, we can see that we're going, we're starting from two, but we go to five by what? Well, we're adding three. I'm like, oh, okay, we added three. Go from two to five, we added three. Let's see if that works again. So five plus three, oh yeah, it does. It gets us to eight. Let's see if it even works again. Eight plus three gets us to 11. Excellent, okay, so because these terms in this uh, sequence, arithmetic sequence, is um, separated by a number, a common difference that we can continue to add, this is how this is defined as a arithmetic sequence. Now, uh, just, uh, so there's no confusion because we we are studying sequences and series when you're studying this topic. So if you're doing this, you're going to eventually be studying this thing called series. So what is a series uh, versus a sequence? Well, basically all that is is that we're going to add up the terms of an arithmetic sequence. So a series would just be the sum, okay, of the terms, and then we can go on and on. Da 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 da. So. When you're studying this stuff, don't confuse some of the formulas that you're going to get for series versus sequence. Okay, so anyways, I don't want to get too far ahead uh, in this video because, you know, uh, it's arithmetic sequence as a series, a hugely important topic in mathematics. And what we want to do here in this particular problem is find the value of the hundredth uh, term, okay, in this arithmetic sequence. So you're saying, hmm, okay, how can I do that? Well, even if you didn't know any algebra, okay, if I wanted to find the hundredth term, I would just do the what? Well, the second term, a sub two is five. Okay, and I did I added three. Now I added three again here. So my third term, the value of that is eight. So I'm like, all right, I can just play this game. Uh, my fourth term is going to be 11, so I could just keep going on and on and on and on and on. Guess what? By the time you finish that problem, you would be looking like this. You're going to be like, okay, that was very hard, very boring, and um, a complete waste of my time on planet Earth because that's going really to take you a long time, and that's just you know too much work. But luckily for you, um, there are formulas that we can apply to make our job easier. Now, this is the hundredth term. Okay, what if I said find the 10,000th term? Then, you know, at this point, you'd just be like, ah, you know, forget that. I'll just go do something else. And I wouldn't blame you. Okay, however, if you're studying mathematics, uh, you know, algebra two, pre calculus, and whatnot, you're going to need to know this stuff. And it's not that difficult, but we do need to cover some uh, basic formulas, and uh, we'll go ahead and solve this problem. In just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can find a link to my math help program in the description of this video. You can also find a direct link uh, to my pre-calculus course, which I teach uh, sequence and series in. Okay, so if you're in dire need, of uh, real, you know, like complete in-depth instruction review, you can find that link as well. But outside of, um, you know, basically, so again, I have many, many courses. So those courses would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and now finally pre-calculus. But I also have many other courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACUPLACER, um, Alex exam, maybe uh, the CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, and many, many others. I have those exams, have great uh, math test prep courses uh, for them because they all have math on them. Just go to my site, check out my full course catalog. I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then obviously I help those of you who are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, if you're truly serious about learning this stuff, 
or learning any math, especially at this level, you absolutely have to be taking great math notes. Okay, so I've been teaching math for decades, and the one thing I can point to with consistency is those students who take great math notes almost always have great math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students are like in and out of math class. Uh, here they're listening to the teacher, and then down here they're on their cell phone. Here they're back to listen to their teacher, then over here they're talking to their buddies, and then they check in with their teacher again, and then what are they doing over here? They're doing homework for another class, okay? So if this is kind of like you, you kind of have inconsistent focus, you're going to end up with grades like this, okay? So you got to stop that, and you got to be 100% committed to learning this stuff, especially this level of mathematics. But um, as you improve in your note-taking, you can use my notes to study from. So those would include pre-algebra, um, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. I'm gonna be um, creating some pre-calculus course uh, notes that are gonna have uh, more in the sequence and series stuff. So hold off for that. If you're, again, in dire need of help, uh, you definitely wanna check out my pre-calculus course. But without further ado, let's get into this problem. All right, now, again, uh, here is our lovely arithmetic sequence, and we know it's arithmetic because it's uh, the terms are separated by what we call a common difference, and that is three. And I could find that by just subtracting any two pairs of term terms, uh, eight minus five, I get three, okay, any kind of um, two consecutive terms, all right? Five minus two, I get three, um, 11 minus eight, I get three. So these terms are separated by three, that's our common difference. That's what we uh, denote as D, okay? So yeah, I have a formula here. <clears throat> and we'll get to that in a second, excuse me. All right, now, uh, we need to first define what this little A sub one deal is. Well, in uh, sequence and series uh, talk or notation, uh, this little A sub one just is notation for the first uh, term in the sequence, okay? So two, A sub one is two. All right. Now to find any term down down the line here, that's a sub n. Okay, so a sub n. I want a formula for a sub n. So I could, if I wanted to find uh, a uh, the one hundredth term, I would find a one hundred. Okay, so if the first term, if I want to find the second term, pretty easy. That's five, right? Because I can just identify it. But what I want to have is a general formula for any term in this sequence, and here is the formula you need to know. So if you're studying arithmetic sequences and series, you need to know this formula for the nth term of an arithmetic uh, sequence. And here it is, a sub n is equal to a sub one plus uh, n minus one uh, times d, okay? Again, d is a common difference. a sub one is the first uh, um, term, the first the value of the first term in the sequence, and then n, you're just gonna leave blank because we're gonna come up with a formula for a sub n, and we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so here we go. We got our first term, we know that it's two, a sub one is two, and our common difference is three. So I just need to just plug this stuff in here and do some simple algebra. So a sub one is two, so I'm gonna plug in two right there. And then my D is three, so I'm gonna plug in three right there. Okay, so you can see that's exactly what I'm doing. All right. All right, so A sub one is two, D is three, common difference. So what do I do here? It's simple as applying the distributor property. Okay, so it's three times this one times that N. So I get three N minus three. I got this two over here, so two plus three N minus three. And when I have two and minus three together, I got three N minus one, this, this simplifies down to that. That's not that difficult at all. But what does this mean? Well, this is the specific uh, formula for the nth term of this arithmetic sequence. So remember, we have two, five, eight. Now, any term I want down here, I want, you know, of course the question's asking for the hundredth, but if I wanted the 57th term, or if I wanted the 10,000th term, I can use this lovely little formula right here n is the position in a sequence, okay? So remember, a sub one is the first term, okay? a sub two is the second term. So this it defines the position, and when you plug in all this stuff in here, you're gonna get the actual value, all right? So let's go ahead and find a uh, the hundredth term. So I wanna find a sub 100, this little subscript right here, so it's gonna be three. Remember, this is my n, 
this is n, so when I plug in when I want the hundredth term, that's a 100, this n is 100, okay? So that's three times 100 minus one, 300 minus one is 299, so the hundredth term is 299, and that's it, okay? So if you knew this formula, we were able to get this correct, then you're pretty awesome. I must give you a awesome 1987 uh, mohawk with extra Aquanet hairspray. Pretty flammable haircut, but, uh, you know, that's how we did it back in the 80s, okay? So A+. plus. Now, I would say this is a pretty easy problem in terms of sequence and series. Pretty standard stuff, all right? You're going to need to know this formula um, and many others, but here's the deal. Um, when you start learning these formulas, when you're, when you're talking about sequence and series, students start you know, they got their, they start writing down all these formulas. You got arithmetic, geometric, infinite, um, uh, geometric, and then, you know, you start getting confused. Okay. You're like, Oh, you're using the wrong formula on this and this formula on that. So the only way you're going to be able to kind of, you know, um, keep things straight here is through practice and focus. You know, focus is the key to anything, right? And when I'm talking about note taking and stuff, I'm not joking. When I'm talking about the level of focus you need, you need to have to be uh, successful, you know, not only in this level of mathematics, but in, in anything that you do. Okay. But this stuff is complicated and it's going to get, if you're at, if you're studying this level of math, guess what? I got great news for you. It's only going to get more complicated, complicated. So that's going to be, you know, like, Hey, more challenging. You're going to feel just better about yourself and your brain's going to grow, um, to this crazy supercomputer. Okay. But here's the deal. Yeah, if you're going to be successful at that, you have to be focused, all right? So if you're struggling with this, take a step back, you know, take a look at your notes, talk to your teacher. But if you like my uh, style of instruction, um, then I can definitely help you. Again, where you want to go to get help from me on this uh, topic is in my pre-calculus course. I have a whole chapter on sequence and series. Um, you can check that out again. I'm going to leave the direct link in the description of this video along with the link to my uh, learning program. All right, so if this video was helpful in some small way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced math. Okay, so again, whether you're taking you know basic algebra or more advanced mathematics, I can help you out. Okay, uh, the bottom line is this: get help. Right? Watch my videos. Watch someone else's videos. Go get help. Uh, the worst thing you do is just feel like you can't do this stuff because you can't, okay? But is it easy? No. Are you going to have to work? Yes. But uh, beyond that, you know, you will be successful if you put in the work and you stay focused. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.